breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Bandit negotiator Tukomamu arrested over 2 billion ransom racket ring. Bandit negotiator Tukomamu arrested over 2 billion ransom racket ring. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Tukomamu, the media consultant to a popular Islamic cleric, Ahmed Gumi, was arrested by the Department of State Services, DSS, over his alleged links to terrorist groups and 2 billion ransom racketry. Kanye Deli had reported how Mamu, who was at the forefront of negotiations for the release of the Abuja Kaduna train captives, was arrested with his family in Cairo, Egypt's capital. The publisher of Dissart Herald was detained with his family members at Cairo International Airport while they were on their way for lesser hajj in Saudi Arabia. Mamu told newsmen that he left Nigeria on Tuesday and was detained by Egyptian security agencies for scrutiny, but nothing incriminating was found on him. He accused the federal government of attempting to detain him in another country like the Yoruba Nation Agitator, Sunday Adeyemo, better known as Sunday Igboho. The Egyptian authorities repatriated Mamu back to Nigeria because he was arrested again by DSS operatives at the Malamamino Kano International Airport and Kano. The Kaduna publisher, who was involved in the controversial negotiations that led to the release of several abducted passengers on the March 28th Abuja Kaduna train attack, was arrested together with his family by DSS operatives shortly after he was repatriated to Nigeria from Egypt. Family sources said, Mamu, who was on his way to Saudi Arabia for lesser hajj, was traveling alongside his, with his two wives, Fatima Bashir Mamu and Aisha Salisu Mamu, as well as his elder son, Faisal Tuko Mamu, and his brother-in-law, Ibrahim Azan Tinja. Daily Trust gathered from reliable security sources that the bandit negotiator was arrested for his alleged involvement in collected ransom and taken same to terrorists in exchange for kidnapped victims. Sources said beyond his relationship with his sergeant in Nigeria, Mamu was also arrested because of his strong ties with a terror group in Egypt, especially in Sinai and by extension, Libya. The Sahel, another part of West Africa, and the Middle East on the other side. A source in one of the intelligence outfits in Nigeria said Mamu's arrest was beyond his activities in Nigeria, stressing that the Cardinal publisher was on international watch list. He was arrested in Egypt based on advanced passenger information, API, 
because he came under international security scrutiny following his activities here at home and beyond the shores of Nigeria shortly after the Kaduna train attack, he said. I can assure you that Mamu has high linkage with terror groups in Egypt, especially in Sinai, and by extension, Libya, the Sahel, and other parts of West Africa on the side, and the Middle East on the other side. He has collected over 2 billion naira in ransom for terrorists, with some of the payments made in US dollars by desperate families and negotiated the release of their loved ones. We have been monitoring all these activities and evidence abound to hold him to, la to, hold him to la account, he said. When told that Mamu had shortly, had shortly before his repatriation from Cario said there was an attempt to treat him like Unam de Kanu, the source said, Egyptian authorities are not subordinate to the dictate of Nigerian authorities. They deported him based on the fact at their disposal and based on global standard. Another source said they monitored Mamu's activities for long before he was flagged both at home and abroad. Can he tell the world his legitimate source of income to justify his lifestyle? Had it been we wanted, we could have picked him in his house in Kaduna, but because what he is doing has global implications, we allowed the international law to take its course. Yet, Another security source with knowledge of the situation told reporters that Mamu was intercepted because of an intelligence report over a scheduled meeting with some persons believed to be the leaders of the terrorists who conducted the Kaduna train attack. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let's know.